quick before Kyle comes back. He beats me. Help me. Help me. Help me. What'd you say? <laughs> what did you tell them? I said to welcome to Cue It or what Screw It. What did you tell them? Welcome to Cue It or Screw It. Welcome to Cue It or Screw It. Don't take off the belt. So after that intense introduction, welcome to our show. Hey. No, we're friends. We're friends, right? Tell them we're friends. Tell them we're friends. We are friends. He beats me. Hondo, everybody. Uh, we are Andrew and Kai. Yes. Welcome to Cuter Screw It. That one's Andrew. This one's Kai. So this week, we reviewed a movie called The History of Future Folk. It's about a... F it's, it's interesting. It's kind of like, like an indie sci-fi folk music thing. Yes, and the band, the band that it's based off is a real band, apparently. They've been yeah. performing in New York for about 10 years. Um, so it's like a band biography. Yeah. Telling their backstory that isn't that is supposed to be true, but isn't really, mm. they're aliens. So, the rundown of this movie, there's a guy who you think is just a normal, everyday dad, uh, reading a story about aliens to his kid, uh, goes out to play a little folk show, but he's got this weird red costume on, and he basically says, yeah, I'm this alien from outer space, and uh, this is, these are some songs that I wrote. And so then it turns out there's like another guy that comes in, he's wearing the exact same outfit, and he's trying to hunt him down. And it turns out that like the bedtime story he's been telling his daughter is actually the story of their people. So you've got this guy, Kevin, who kind of hunts down the main character, Bill, whose real name is General Trius. And basically, General Trius captures Kevin, and Kevin's like, why are you doing this? Why did you turn on our people? Why have you just been here and not come back to us? And then Bill lays down some sick banjo beats. Funky beats. And we find out that, that Bill had not returned to the planet because of his love for music. He, mm -hmm. he had gotten to Earth and he heard, really, it was like, it was elevator music. He heard some elevator music yeah. in a Costco huh. or something. This and, is great. Yeah. And he just falls in love and, and he realizes the beauty of Earth and how how Earth has just this artistic mm -hmm. strength and inner beauty to it that that can Hondo only did. be defined by music and yeah that mm -hmm. Hondo did not have it but it's still under attack by these people and that's kind of a background story it's that a comet. oh comet that's what it is Hondo is being Hondo is afraid that their planet is going to be destroyed mm -hmm. um, by a comet flying through the air and uh, they wanted to take over Earth to have a new planet. Yeah, apparently Earth is a great planet to colonize. Right? This well, this movie is it's a low-budget science fiction movie, mm -hmm. so obviously the, the first thought in my head was, this is going to be really corny, yeah. the costumes are going to be garbage, um, they're going to show spaceships that are so poorly done. Um, <clears throat> I do have to say that action, there's an action sequence where Trius fights an alien, <laughs> It's stupid. It's stupid. It's but stupid, it but it doesn't try to be yeah. anything other than a low-budget action sequence. Mm -hmm. So, things that I liked about this movie, really liked the acting. Like, it wasn't corny, and it wasn't too over-dramatic. Like, it was very, it knew what it was, and uh -huh. it stayed there, and it was, it was nice. It was believable and touching at times that it needed to be, and it was ridiculous at the times that it also needed to be. Yeah, and the actors weren't, I'd never heard of any of the actors. Um, they're all kind of probably C-list actors, mm -hmm. and they're just yeah. cast really, really well, um, and they play really, really believable characters. It's written so unbelievably. Oh, yeah. Uh, so phenomenally. And, and the music is great. Yeah, yeah and, and it's, a it's a movie about a band, mm -hmm. and that, that music doesn't overrun the music, or it doesn't overrun the movie, excuse me. And the songs are actually really this, good. Songs are really, really good. One other thing that I wasn't a huge fan of, and this is such a nitpicky thing, towards the end they're playing a show together and then General Trius, the banjo player, gets off and like follows his lady off the stage. The banjo's still playing, if you listen to it, you can still hear banjo being played, and it's as if it's a live show, so I'm like, I 
get what they're trying to do, but I at least cut out the banjo a little bit just to keep the continuity and keep me in the realm of it's a movie. The thing that I really didn't like about the movie um, is that Kevin is an alien. He comes to Earth and he falls in love with a police officer and then assaults her and is still in love with this this woman police officer and then he he shoots her he set, he stuns her and sings her a song after breaking out of jail uh-huh and she falls in love with him it's a twisted modern love story <laughs> It is weird, I have to say it's weird, but at the same time, it, the way it plays out, and he's just, he's so nice that it's like, he's got the best of intentions, that it, it is kind of cute and endearing when you watch it, but it, it is if If creepy. you know, at, knowing the character, it's like, okay, he's, he's nice, he's, you know, he's so sweet. Mm -hmm. But if you looked at it from the outsider's perspective of the cop, I would be creeped out. Yeah. <laughs> like, how lonely do you have to be to, to fall in love with your stalker? All right, so let's get down to the brass tacks. Brass tacks. Brass I would say cue this movie. I found it very charming. I came into it very skeptical, and I was it, it won me over. Sure. I, I would agree totally. Um, don't go in with huge expectations. It's not a perfect movie. It's not a breathtaking movie. It's just really, really interesting, really well done. Mm -hmm. If you just want a random indie pick, I think this is a definite winner if you want something that's not very well known, uh, something fun yeah. to watch. This is definitely a good time, especially if you like folksy, bluegrassy music. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's especially a treat, so I would say cue it. I would say cue it too, especially if you want a good time. You want to have a, a raucous time, hanging out, bro chilling. Yeah, this has been the latest episode of Q It or Screw It. Uh, we say to Q, the history of future folk. Ways that you can contact us is on Twitter and then also on Blogspot. So we'll put those links up here for you. Uh, feel free to contact us. Tell us what you thought about the movie and if you have any suggestions of other Netflix movies you'd like for us to review. Until next time, I'm Kai. I'm Andrew. Keep on queuing.